All right, folks, we're back. Episode 11, Patrick Gale Show. Coach the show covered off the state basketball here. In the midst of our Atlanta swing here for Coach Gale and the Golden Rams. We see the Ramley out there last night. Clark Atlanta coach. Uh, a lively environment. Want more ways than one. <laughs> as, as we had some Rams fans right behind the bench there, Coach. Uh, who we, man? How's, how's it going, Coach, after last night's game, man? Well, it was hard to sleep um, last night. Very disappointing ending. Um, encouraging, but disappointing. And again, um, I had I had to read the word this morning. I had to had to go to sleep with with um, listening to some encouraging words. And basically, it was very consistent. Just wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Be patient. Don't give up now. Kind of like my team. My team. You know, that first half, we were down 15. We allowed way too many points. And the second half looked like more of what we do, but it was just uh, a little bit too short. So we just got to keep plugging because win or lose, we still got to deal with uh, Morehouse on Wednesday. No doubt, Coach. And, and as we talk about, man, look, you're on the road, you're down by 15, and you could take a lead, which should be a good experience for your team to say, hey, look, we didn't win, but guess what? We were down by 15 on the road in a lively hostile environment and came back and got yep. the lead. Now, if we have to do the little small things the last few minutes of the game, we win the game. So there is some encouraging things that to build off of. And Blaze did not play, which even gives more confidence because there you go. There <laughs> Blaze you go. went out there. Blaze, and, and this Blaze, that's 15, that's 15 and 10 that wasn't out there. So that was huge. So God stepped up in his in his absence. And, you know, uh, I talked to uh Coach Jordan after the game. He's got a lot of uh fifth year seniors. So he's playing with a very um experienced team. I believe that was their 16th win, maybe their 15th win. So they're used to winning these games, whereas we're trying to figure out how to win these games. And remember what I told you a couple of shows ago, we have to learn how to not lose games before we can learn how to win games. And we're still in that process of learning how to not lose games. No doubt. And, and like we talked about previously, winning is a process. And you really can't skip something. I, I kind of go back to the NBA to a little bit, Coach, because – Get teams when going to first round of playoffs, second round of playoffs, conference finals before they get that breakthrough, right? And so, right. go and say they had to go do it ahead with Mark Jackson. They got to the second round, lost the Clippers. Like, uh, so, you see those things um, in NBA. So, these these are younger men who are on level of the NBA having to learn how to win, process winning, process winning ways, the right things to do on on, off, on the court, off the court to win the game. And winning is a painful process when you're dealing with a team or a group of young men that have not won. It's a painful process because they don't know the path. And, you know, the coaching staff does know the path. You, we, we've won in the conference before. We know what it takes to win on the road. Um, that was actually my first loss at Clark. Uh, and I've been here. It's my sixth season. So it's a painful process. But you have to stay with the process. And you have to stay with the process, most importantly, when you're disappointed. You can't pick and choose. You have to stay with the process. And what is the process? Take care of the ball, defend and rebound. And those are the three things that we must we must do more consistently. Uh, we, we, we got out-rebounded by 10 in the first half. And for the game, we got out-rebounded by two. So we, we, um, we cut that uh, margin. And then we made timely shots. Uh, we were nine of eleven from the free throw line. Uh, game against Fort Valley, we I think we missed eight free throws, so that was good. And then you know we had uh, fifteen assists. I'm sorry, seventeen assists, but we had fifteen turnovers. So all those things matter. Those little things matter. So we got to figure out how to be more consistent in the winning ways that we we are we're showing that we can do. You got to put two halves together. And these are the hidden things in town, coach. That fans sometimes don't know the way. You will not do like a turnover, a free throw blockout, a shot turnover, a just those little things that you don't are a fan that ain't really engaged. Oh, right, he missed a shot, but no, let's talk about the layer to the missed shot, <laughs> you know, and it, what it would cause another thing. So, like those little small details, whether we helping weak, are we helping strong, are we 
icing or we're doing hard heads, whatever we freaking doing, uh, it's like, you know, those details matter. Yes. And, and to winning games, I think that's something that a lot of young men in college, all levels, from NAI up to the hobby, still struggle with to this day. That's right. That's right. And we we played man the whole game. I wanted to go to, to some zone, but they they kind of hit. I think uh, number one, Xavier Griffin, he hit three threes. He, he, he hit all the threes for them. So I kind of did not want to get them into a uh, comfort zone. And again, I was proud of the way we played man the whole game, played full court man for probably 98 percent of the possessions um, when we hard hedged. Like we talked about earlier, Jr. In the, in the in the game plan, and we looked good, you know. But we cannot allow one player to have twenty six points, and six of those points came from the free throw line. He had ten free throw attempts. He did not hit a three, so it was all in the paint. That's unacceptable. We we have to do better, and then we have to have a kid who our kid was ten of eleven. He has to have more touches. Uh, if he only missed one shot and he made ten field goals, he has to have more touches. No doubt, and, and and that paint was giving them trouble. Don't even even when you were we were down, they couldn't really handle him. You know, right. it was right. like if he just seals and uses his big body, they can't stop. But they they they're running down there. Just well, turn it's, turn it's, over. over. It's to telling. Like when, it's telling when twenty one and ten with two assists and one block, and you feel like he didn't play his best game. And a lot of it is because he had three turnovers um, and he only had one offensive rebound. And again, he only had two free throw attempts, which means he wasn't aggressive enough, even though he was 10 of 11 from the field. So those are the little things that we have to recognize. No doubt. And coach, like you said, man, like this still, but it was, what's, what's the silver lining is all that, hey, the record is deceiving because yes. you and I know this team is what's better than what the record says it is. Oh, you are what you are what the record is. Correct. But at the same time, you and I both know that the talent in the team is not what the record is right now. Correct. And, and the good thing about basketball, man, is that there's another game Wednesday. So you have to refocus. And I truly believe one win on the road will propel us. And you want to peak now. You want to peak going into February, March. So why not now? Let's start this, you know, this road, this winning streak. So, you know, that's why Coach and I are back at it. We got back at 2.30 um, this morning, but we're back at it trying to figure it out, trying to figure out how to beat Morehouse on Wednesday. Then they've been winning games. They're very tough to beat at home as well. But right now it's more about what can we do to win these games, these close games. And then the great thing about it is we have a four-game homestand after Wednesday. So it's a really good time to start something. No doubt, Coach. And talk about the, having the, the fans, uh, a lot of fans behind the bench last night, a lot of Ramley out there for your support. And so how cool is it to have the ASU uh, fans from the alums there and some of the people from all over to come up there and cheer for you guys uh, last night, man. It was great, very great to see that. It was awesome to see them. Um, that was the Alumni Association, uh, DeKalb chapter. Uh, you met Monica Franklin Redding. She actually was a manager for Oliver Jones uh, when she attended Albany State University. Every time we go to Atlanta, they take care of us. They're always there. They always represent. They fed us afterwards. Uh, you saw the love. You saw how big the Ramley is. So we appreciate, you know, the uh, Alumni Association. They always take care of us when we play Clark and Morehouse. And they will be there again Wednesday. Um, one of one of my uh, Ramley members said she even left her pom pom in the parking lot. Man, she was so distraught after the loss, and she said she's had that those pom poms since two thousand and nine. So, you know, if anybody's watching that Clark, please don't throw that away. Please keep it, keep it for her, so that we can we can you know get her reunited. But it's always awesome that our guys. That's probably why we haven't lost that Clark since I've been here. We have such great support when we go to Atlanta, especially at Clark, because it's a hostile environment. Yeah, it is. You know what, Coach? I must tell you this. This I, I and people don't get mad from saying this. The environment at Clark is more lively than it was at Tennessee State. Wow. And wow. we have our real seats nine thousand. Of course, of course, it ain't nine thousand there. But 
The stool section is not loud. It's the TSU that is sitting there feeling they ain't, they ain't doing nothing. Well, the fan, don't try to get excited. Like he's doing a timeout when the fan is playing a song like they playing neck or something. <laughs> Well, 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 you didn't, you didn't, there was no DJ last night. Imagine if the DJ was there, because usually there's a DJ there at Clark Atlanta. But let me tell you something. One of the best experiences in college basketball is Clark Atlanta basketball. And and um, when they play Morehouse, oh, man, man, that that is a, a an awesome environment. The, the SIC has a great environment. So our, our homecoming game when we play Fort Valley and we're going to go to Fort Valley um, in a couple of weeks, that's going to be a great experience. There are really some great experiences in the SIC and Clark Atlanta is, you're right, it's, it's, it's right there at the top. The yeah. awesome experience. Coach, I was <laughs> in the midst of me being a competitor. I was disappointed <laughs> in the free state. I didn't have this Tennessee State. Wow. So and you you didn't play you didn't play in front of that, huh? No, it's like we had to band and down on the on the far baseline, but <laughs> the student <laughs> section over is over on this side, on the opposite baseline, they is chilling. Like it's just a, a, we chilling. We ain't doing nothing. It's a testament to our guys' mental toughness because a lot of guys are telling me they couldn't hear me, but they still were able to to um get through a 15 and navigate a 15 point deficit and quickly uh jr i mean it ain't like it took us all second half to to cut that lead down we cut it under 10 in like maybe the first three to five minutes so you know if 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 they just do the little things and it's just the little details you know winning is in the details in the little things they'll be fine because all of that i can block out you know i don't hear the crowd I just focus on what's going on on the court. I focus on, you know, what the team is trying to do, the matchups, what their tendencies are, what he's, what the coach is trying to run, how the game is being officiated. The crowd is kind of like just to me, like when you walk through the forest, if you see a bear, if you see a deer, whatever, it's just part of the landscape. So the crowd's part of the landscape. But when you concentrate on that, you have fear and you, you don't really – concentrate on what you're there for we're there to get a win so all of that crowd and all that that's just part of it that's what it comes with but to win is to focus on the little things on the court because none of those people in the stands can affect anything on the court because they don't touch the ball exactly and i, and I said I, I'm, I'm proud of the guys for that man because you know some 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 teams cannot play the kind of environment and your team did and it, 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 it was great to see that now i'll say this i've seen that on the road at murray state I've seen it there. They, I've seen it in Eastern Illinois, and he's like, he's like, whatever. But it's like, or in Clarksville, I've seen it there. But it was like, I just was like, yeah, we can do better. Maybe, maybe as an alum, Jr., you can, you can do something about that, man. Maybe you need to go in and 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 start your own Jr. fan fan section and, and get that going. <laughs> Coach, you know good, good and bleeping well. I'm not welcome like that. <laughs> well, well, you're welcome at Albany State, Jr. Hey, we, we can hey, adopt you. Then we're look welcome here. at I Albany feel State. Ramily, I feel the love. That's what's up. Ramily. That's what's up. That's what's up. That that blue and gold is strong, and Again, we, what, Coach? we embrace you. <laughs> Tennessee State, we're not welcome. We hold the bits, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I keep it real. I don't lie, okay? Well, well, listen, we 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 appreciated you being our honorary coach. You actually did a great job, man. Did you pick up some calls last night? Did we get some I calls did. last night? Look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a black. I'm gonna put you out there for 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 the whole to see that you picked up calls because we play them on Saturday again. So we needed some calls, man. We needed some. Calls. I got you, so you did. That's what's up. That's all. Hey. You are the man. You are the man. You, you no, it's earned... all about trying to help him where I can because, as you all know, Coach Gillong has one assistant. So, with him being in, in my city, why why I not help him? And since I've played, I know what the hell I'm doing to a degree. <laughs> hey, listen, JR, the, the, the kid that was 10 of 11, I saw you coaching him up a little bit during the half times. I mean, during the uh, ego half time and during the timeouts. And then for, for all of for all of America to know. So we call our last time out. And JR was like, look, you want a full or 30? And he's relaying it to the officials. I was like, I, 
That's what I'm talking about. So, you know, you you definitely did a great job, man. I just want to say thank you. It was an awesome experience. And, you know, I was I, and that's the thing, man, as a head coach, you want to win not just for your players. You want to win for your coaching staff. And I wanted you to get that W, man. I wanted you to get that win, man. Wanted you to get it. Hey, we're going to get it Wednesday, coach. Go get it Wednesday. Go get it Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, hey, like look, and I, and, and I see you've been living right because you are deflecting and resisting a lot of temptation and being slow to wrath and being slow to move to anger. So I'm proud of you, man. The Lord is working with you, man. The Lord is working in you. Yes, He is, Coach. <laughs> hey, Coach, I get really competitive when I eat. <laughs> I can't put together. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are you you are you are doing a great job of ignoring ignorance. And that's what you got to do. And they just pray for people. Just pray for people. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm I'm, I'm looking forward. See, I ain't looked at my phone, coach. Just, just know that. I haven't looked at my phone. So I, <laughs> I just take my to look at my phone Thursday. <laughs> I, I, I would let any kind of noise distract the division of winning this game in Morehouse at the Corps right. of the That's right. Because I'm and, locked in. And Morehouse, Morehouse has size. Um, they, they're they going to crash the offensive glass. They have some tough guards as well. They're very, very physical. They're going to make it a very physical game. And knowing that we played on Monday, uh, Monday night, and had to come back to Albany and is, you know, driving back to Atlanta on Wednesday, we have to make sure we have our legs. But we'll be in the gym today. Um, we, we got weights, uh, recovery with our strength and conditioning coach, Coach Sharp, who does a great job. And then we'll be in the gym, uh, getting ready to put in this game plan for Morehouse. The life of, of be careful, kids, when you say you want to play college basketball, because we are playing in this week, um, Monday. Well, we played Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, and we play Saturday, Monday again. That's a tough schedule. Yes. Yes, it is. It reminds me of the NBA almost. It is. There you go. And as you can see, Jr. Uh, uh, guys is falling on their shoulders, they they backs. Guys is getting beat up. So it's a physical thing. You have to take care of your body. And that's where that off season conditioning. That's right. Comes in that's handy. Right. That's you, you right. Put in those miles did to be able to withstand right. this now. That's right. And you see why we had uh, our girl Sashik last show, because you need those supplements. You need to understand your body to get through, you know, something like this. No doubt. Well, Coach, we're going we're gonna to keep claiming these things. We're going to get together and uh, I'll be there we're full not, force. We're not, we're not going to abandon the Lord. The Lord is with us. And uh, when, when it's darkest, that's when you got to trust him the most. So we definitely trust. And we just need that breakthrough. Once we get that win on the road, we, we're going to keep it going. No doubt. Well, Coach, we look forward to it Wednesday, Coach. And uh, I'll be there, as you know, doing, doing, doing some more for you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, what do you always say when you go on the road? Get a split. So let's yeah. get this. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Split it up. Yes, but now I split. That's what we call it. My name's called it. But now I split. That's what it's called <laughs> Tough environment. I'm looking forward to it Wednesday. No doubt, folks. Coach Gale, Patrick Gale show, it's 11. Still hit it. We don't care. We're going to be here every Tuesday for you. Bring the noise, representing Albany State. We are out.